you turned it into an act, and it's one of my favorite specials of yours on on uh, Netflix. Thanks. Um, but it was your real life. Is you, nobody knows more about hamsters. <laughs> so, I, I'm, I'm, Lou, why are you I've laughing? I've never heard Lou laugh so, this much. Because <laughs> somebody who knows so much about hamsters. That's not a joke, Lou. No, he I'm did. I'm impressed. He it's a, a laugh of, of being impressed. Yeah. How did you get a into the look to him too? Yeah. Lewis. How did you get into the hamster business? Um, well, I didn't necessarily. It wasn't a business of mine, but it was something that I came into. They had a guy near us. Well, first of all, they had a man who uh, sold hamsters. They had another man who did tattoo work in the area, and at one point, they ta would tattoo these hamsters or gerbils or uh, gerbils. Isn't it gerbils? Gerbils, gerbils? Was, I think <laughs> gerbils. French. If you're, if it's French, I, I don't, we were doing it by the Roman Catholic version. Okay. So, yeah, they would put a tattoo. They would, they would dehair them, put a tat, put a branding on the side oh, of them. Sure. And we used to sell them outside of concerts, ace outside of ACDC. Oh wait, you were branding. I don't like. I that. didn't brand them. No, but you, they shaved them, and then what was the, what did the tattoo say? Or they would dip them in something that would de-hair them, like a de-hair and sauce. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> Is it horrible? <laughs> Is it horrible? It's a beautiful animal. No, without the hair, with a, uh, what colors did they make them? Uh, the tattoos were based. I remember one being kind of like an off green, and I remember one being just kind of a black or purple. And what does it say on the? On it the... would say ACDC, you know, or oh, GL. Does it, that was the merch oh, for the merch. Tour. Oh yeah, it was something you would sell. So it was ACDC or GL Gerald Levert. We sold them outside of Gerald Levert. We sold ACDC. Uh... <laughs> Instead of a T-shirt, people where you're from would buy a a, a concert gerbil. Oh, you said people on ecstasy, people leaving on drugs. Maybe you hit them with that freaking hamp, son. <laughs> That's money, dude. You tell me you're on drugs, you won't buy a hamster? I would. Thank you. Okay, so, and then these are big fans. Say so you're a big <laughs> ACDC <laughs> fan. If they played two years later, did people show up with the old hamster from no. the other? They're like the, the grandparents of the Animal Kingdom, maybe. They're not really. You know we're going to get a call from PETA. They're you not, don't do it. You don't, they don't you live don't, long. Don't. No, look, this was the first thing. Man, I got caught into it. It wasn't anything I, I, I Oh, did. you were in the hamster trade. Well, there was a man near us that bred hamsters. And, himself uh, or he used other hamsters oh i'm sure he used so this other is like hamsters. hamster you trafficking you, no he's in can't. the hamster trafficking world no yeah this you is, can't fuck hamsters this, no i mean i can't even i i can't fathom how you could i can't even if you hold the hamster by its tail his eyes will fall out really yeah yeah we didn't do any of that we just kind of fed him and took care of him you know and vend him you're an entrepreneur but you, but i you, wasn't I was an employee. But you said there was a truck. I, there was a tr you'd fill you'd be, fill a truck with hamsters. Oh, dude, we filled probably one time. I think we were going. Uh, I want to say it was three eleven or something. It could have been Modest Mouse or something. One of those bands. We were driving across the lake. And we probably had about seventy hamsters in the back of a truck. Wow, wow. back this there just water bottling them. The well, band you put them in wasn't... water bottles. No, we would uh, uh, just feeding them. Feed them. Oh, you fit you fit, you bottle. Oh, you gotta fed. keep them hydrated because the wind is ripping through that truck bed. <laughs> you thought he put them in water. Wait, bottles? you bottle fed uh, tattooed naked <laughs> hamsters? <laughs> no, not naked. Well, you you said they were but hairless. They're, hairless. Yeah, they're hairless, man. But, but I don't... you dipped them in something. The hair would fall out. They'd be tattooed. They would fill them in a truck, them. and then you bottle fed them. <laughs> I didn't dip them. I would bottle feed them. Yeah, you guys are making it sound sick, man. You're right. I'm sorry. not me. Not me. I'm thinking this. <laughs> How much does a tattooed uh, ACDC hamster go for? At the time, three dollars. <laughs> it wasn't the band that. It's not the official band merch, right? Like they didn't do. Did they get you a cut of it, it yourself? Oh, it wasn't sanctioned or anything like that. No, this was uh, before. I think a lot of the uh, naming rights and all that was a big deal. You know? Licensing. Licensing. Th was there a hamster stand? No, 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 no. It was straight out of the truck. Wow. So you'd bottle feed them, and how would one choose one hamster over another? Like, well, the most of the hamsters now, the uh, I think people mostly just like it on size, but mostly it is a lot of people honestly are on drugs, and you hit them with that hamper. Yeah, you, you put it in their hand, and they can't stand to. They can't say no. You can't say, you no. Can't say no. The other story I have uh, you get before that warm we get fur baby in your hand, baby. You Pardon? get that little freaking get one of the little Frederick Douglasses in your hand, baby. You fucking, <laughs> they got that big beard on. What are the big... profit margins on something like that? Huh? Like, what are your profit margins? Man, I'm telling you guys, y'all keep acting like I was in the upper echelons of it, man. <laughs> I was a child. I was a employee, dude. I was. I don't even think I was. How'd you get that? How did you get that? How'd you get that job? Like, uh -huh. why did they? They said Theo Vaughn. We need people to sell it. How'd they find you, or how'd you find them? 
My friend Bert did it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and he was trust he's a trustworthy guy. He is. What he is was, Bert doing he now? Died, but he was, oh, he, Bert's dead? Oh, Bert's dead. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think he's dead actually. I, uh, <laughs> I'm honestly not even sure because there was a vague fake Facebook post about him. But what what it is? It was in a horrible hamster. It said R.I.P. Bert, but it was right around Halloween. I remember. Uh, so that's sometimes I think I, I should have followed up on it, but maybe it was R.E.P. Bert, like he wanted to be rep. Oh, like he wanted to be rep. Like he wanted to be represented. Like a Republican. Maybe it could have been. His grandmother used to be. His grandmother was named Ethel, right? And she used to be our babysitter. <coughs> okay. Oh. That's a sweet story. That's